Before we say goodbye, here's James Harden. Okay, go ahead. All right, we'll get started with Michael Grady from Yes Network. Hey, James, what's the message communication like between players in terms of the the, the mental and the physical adjustments you guys want to make and even verbal, you know, adjustments you want to make defensively? It's a little bit of everything. Uh, our communication, uh, our positioning, we haven't really had a, a lot of you know, practice time, so we're kind of learning on the fly. Um, but, you know, I think communication is going to help a lot of that out. Um, just comfort, constant effort. Um, you know, we got to be more active on those loose basketballs, uh, do a really you know, better job of rebounding the basketball, and then do a better job of just keeping our man in front of us. Um, those are some aspects that we can get better on. And, uh, you know, if we do those things and, you know, the schemes and all the plays, that can, you know, you know we can figure that out later. But the principles are, are those small things. Uh, four games, one sort of practice for you. What has this feel-out process been like for you in terms of, you know, on the floor facilitating for your new teammates versus looking for your, your own shot? What has that been like for you? A little bit of a mixture of both. You know, I got to be aggressive, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but I, I feel like we're getting open shots. Uh, honestly, our problem is an offense. Like, we scored 100 and something, 113 points tonight, and even last game was more than enough to win the game. I think defensively we have to be more engaged and we have to uh, round up some, some more stops consecutively and uh, that'll make our offense a lot better. So offensively, we're not worried at all. It's our defense. Malika Andrews with ESPN. <clears throat> James, uh, Steve was talking about defense as an effort issue, as a pride issue. Is it an on-off switch for you guys or do you think it's something where game by game there are little tweaks that you can make then to add up to something bigger? Uh, little tweaks, little tweaks. I think just individual, though, just guarding our man, small things like that, putting the body on, you know, as a shot goes up, putting the body on the man to gain rebound, um, things like that that we can control, and then the tweaks will go along with that. And then, you know, as you add on games, you know, games, then, uh, you know, we put five guys in, in great defensive possession. So, um, you know, like I said, it'll take time, but I think those small things individually we can correct um, starting tomorrow. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, obviously you, you went those first couple games playing with just Kevin. What's it like learning to play with Kyrie and, and figuring that backcourt dynamic out? Uh, that's a process. Obviously, we all know how great Kyrie, uh, you know, the score he is. Um, but like I said, you know, for all of us, not just me, Katie, and Kai, you know, it's all of us have to find a way to lock in and be engaged on the same page. Uh, whatever five guys are out there defensively, like, you know, as much as we can talk about scoring, you know, we're, we're very good at scoring. You know, we got to, you know, round up some stops. And once we get that going, then we'll be, uh, you know, you know, elite on, on, on both ends of the ball. But right now our problem is defense. Back to Malika with ESPN. James, was there any difference for you in, in starting in, in the front court? No. Nope. Okay. Steve Lichtenstein with WFAN. Hi, James. Uh, you talked about guarding your man, but is there anything that you can do scheme-wise uh, to keep uh, ball handlers out of the paint a, bit, a little better? Uh, we can. We, we can, but I think individually, you know, we watch film before games. So, you know, we have to take upon the challenge to know who we're guarding, uh, their tendencies and what they like to do, you know. And uh, tonight what killed us, they had – maybe what point paints they had 70 you know points in the paint uh that's a lot of points in the paint um so we just didn't do a, a good job of, of guarding the ball and they got into the paint and you know offensive rebounds happen layups happen and you know just not not good good things doesn't happen when they ball get in the paint and tonight we allowed that too much brian lewis with the new york post hey james i mean with the schedule being what it is i mean whatever schematic tweaks uh, you guys would make. I mean, there's not a lot of time, <laughs> a lot of practice time to do that. So is that just a matter of playing through that and having to come to an epiphany on the court? Tomorrow we got another chance <laughs> to get better. <laughs> so I'm sure Coach will have some, have some film for us pregame. Uh, Miami is, you know, another great team, especially on the Eastern Conference. And, you know, we're going to have to figure it out. Uh, but I think if we're engaged and, you know, we have each other's back defensively, gang rebound, uh, you know, we'll have a chance in any game. 
And last question, Matt Brooks with Nets Daily. Hey, James. Um, we talked quite a bit about on-ball defense. Do you feel like there's anything with help? Is it is it yeah. rotating over a little bit late as well? Is there anything you've been able to diagnose from where you're at on the floor? I think, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good question. I think just individually, I think our communication, you know, from from the other four guys, the guy that isn't guarding the the four guys that aren't guarding the ball has to communicate on where the help is, where to, where to send the to send the dribbler, and to just communicate, have each other's back, you know. And, and I think once our communication from all five guys are in sync, um, our defense will be that much better. But uh, it seems like we're on an island, you know, out there, and we have to all do a better job, including myself, of communicating and helping each other out defensively, um, which you know will happen.